Hi everybody! In this tutorial for Kitties in the Kitchen dish towel, I used, I love this cotton. I used the color Antique Gold and Aubergine. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anywho, you're going to need two of each. I used one whole of the antique and the aubergine. And uh, this is what I have left of the second. If you can tell by me squeezing it. So you're going to need two of each. And I used a five millimeter crochet hook. You can use any kind of four way cotton you want. Um, Let's see, it measures, okay, it measures about 25 and a half long by roughly 15 and a half wide. This thing is adorable. I am excited about this. <laughs> okay, so um, I was going to put a border on it, like along the bottom and along the side, but I, I don't know. I changed my mind. I don't, I kind of like it the way it is, but you guys are more than welcome to put a border on it. Um, you'll have plenty left out of your second skeins of each color, but uh, yeah, kitties in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, let's get started. One more thing I wanted to add real quick before we get started is uh, on these puffs, don't forget the one at the beginning and the end because I accidentally, you can see I accidentally forgot one right here. There should be a gold one coming down. And I noticed when I was working it, I kept forgetting to do that uh, first one and last one. I don't know if I mentioned that in the video or not, but um, just keep remembering the beginning and the end. So you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 puffs for each row. All right, let's get started. All righty, so we're going to start with a chain of 54. So go ahead and get your chain done and come back. And then we're going to work, get my tail. A double crochet into the fourth chain from hook so one two three four work our double and then a double crochet in the next chain we're gonna skip two and work two double into this one one, two, chain one, and then to the very next chain, we're going to work two more double. One, two, skip two, one, two, two double crochet into that one. One, Two, chain one and two double crochet into the next chain one two all right so now we skip two and two double into the next chain one and then two double into the next one two skip two my chain went wonky one two into the third two double crochet one two 
chain one and two into the next one two skip two two into this one chain one two into the next all right so that's the pattern repeat for this row go ahead and work that all the way down what is it to the to uh, the last five chains and I'll meet you guys back over here Alrighty, so I've worked this across and I've got five chains left. One, two, three, four, five. So what we do is we're going to skip the next two and then just work a double crochet into the last three. Oh. One. Two. And three. And there's row one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shells. And then our beginning, our beginning uh, three double, and our ending three double. So the three double are going to work all the way up on each side. All right, let's go into round two. So we're going to chain one, turn, work a double into the first three, one, two, three and then we're going to skip straight to that chain one space between our shell right there and we're going to work another shell so it's two doubles one two chain one and then two doubles one two Then we're going to go straight into that next chain one space and work a shell again. One. I have one of my tails. I've actually off camera, I've worked this pattern three or four times and messed it up and messed it up and messed it up. So the uh, beginning of my yarn was all fuzzy and frayed and everything. So I cut it and then I had to tie it back together. So that's where that's my tails I gotta weave in. Just ignore that. <laughs> so okay, so we work two doubles, chain one, then two doubles. One, two. So right, we're gonna go right into the next chain one space and work our, our shell again. One, two, chain one, one, two. And that's it for row two. I mean, we're just going to shell. We're just going to shell in every chain one space. So you guys go ahead and work that and I'll meet you back down here at the end. Alrighty, so I've worked my shell to the end. I have one more I need to do in that chain one space. One. Two, chain one, one, two. All right, so now we're going to skip this half and we're going to work a double crochet into the last two double. And I'm just going to work right into that chain space right there. So three doubles at the end. One, two, right into that space three 
Oh, don't uh, finish that last double. Leave the last two loops of the of the last double on your hook because we're going to change colors. How I change colors. You guys can fasten off and do it however you change colors, but I'm, this is how I do it. So I leave the last two loops of the double crochet on there. Grab my new color and then just pull it through, holding on to everything. I'm going to separate my tails. Pull them tight, chain one, and turn. So row three, we start with our double in the first three. So one, two, three. Let's pull that tighter, and I'll come back and cut that gold. All right, so for row three, we did our first three double, and now we're gonna do a puff stitch. So our puff stitch is gonna go in the uh, space down here at the bottom, at the uh, at uh, row one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over, go in, Go to the back, grab our loop, pull it to the front, and pull up a little. Just like that. We're going to do it four times. So that was one. Go in, pull it to the front. That's two. Three. Four. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through eight, leaving two left. So we're going to yarn over and go through those two. And there's our puff. And now we're going to work our shell into the next chain one space. So two doubles. One, two, chain one, one, two. And now we're going to puff again all the way down there into the space. It's not our chain one space, it's just the, uh, the space, um, from when we skipped. So yarn over, go in to front to back, pull up a loop. One, yarn over, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through eight, yarn over, pull through two, and shell in the next. Chain one space, I mean. One, two, chain one, one, two. So now we work our puff again. I'm going to do this one more time on camera for you. It's, it's hard to crochet and have it close to the camera so you guys can do see what I'm doing. But, uh, okay, so yarn over. We're going to go in, go to the back, pull up, one, two, three, four, yarn over, pull through eight, yarn over, pull through two. And now we work our shell into the chain one, which is two doubles, chain one, two doubles. One, two. And there we go. Is that row three, right? One, two, three. Yeah, row three. So go ahead and keep working this all across, and I'll meet you guys back at the end. Alrighty, so I've worked the pattern across. I have 
one more shell to do. One, two, chain one, one, two, puff down here, pull up, one, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through eight, yarn over, pull through two, and a double crochet in the last three. You might have to scoot your puff over a little bit to see that double crochet that's right there. So, one, two, oh, three. Those are my tails. I still haven't weaved that in yet. And I forgot, I also uh, cut that gold the same length as this one so I can weave it in later. And if you do notice that it, pull this out a little, that it starts to bow like this, don't worry about that because the more we work it, it'll come out of it. Alrighty, let's move on to row four. One, two, three, yeah, row four. Oh. Alrighty, so row four, we're going to chain one, turn, double crochet into the first four, or I mean three, one, two, three, Okay, so we're going to skip everything and go straight to that chain one space in the center of our shell, our sh blah, 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 in the center of our shell, and we're going to work another shell. One, two, chain one, one, two, and go straight across to our next one and work another shell. So yarn over, go in, work your two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So this is pretty a, a pretty um, easy row. We're just shelling in every chain one spot. So go ahead and shell all across in the chain one space and I'll meet you guys when we get close to the end. Alrighty, so I shelled all the way across and I'm back, or I'm not back, <laughs> I'm to the last chain one space so I'm going to go ahead and work my last shell in there. Chain one. Two. All right, so now I'm just going to skip over and work a double crochet into the last three doubles. One, two, and if you turn, oh, excuse me, turn it a little bit, you'll see here. Can you see focus? Last double right there. It's kind of a little cockeyed. Oh, I forgot to yarn over. Go right in there. There. Alright, so there's row four. Starting to kind of look like kitties. Alright, for row five, I'm look through my notes here. Okay, we're going to repeat row two. So we chain one, turn. Double crochet into our first three. So one, two, three, four. 
me some slack. So now what we're going to do is work our shell into our chain one space again. So it's kind of like row we just did. So we're just going to shell. There. Shell, 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 shell. All the way across. And I'll meet you back over here. Alrighty. So I work the shell back to the end here. I'm going to work one more into that last chain, two, chain one space. Skip over and work a double into the last three double of the row. So one, two, and three. Don't finish because we're going to change color now. So with the two loops still on our hook from this double, we're going to add the gold. Hold it on here. Go ahead and pull it through. Drop our tails, and then we're going to chain one and turn. All right. Oop. That ripped my pattern. Okay, for rows six and seven, we're going to repeat rows three and four. All righty. So row, th or, uh, yeah, row three, chain one, and work a double into the first three. One, two, three. So what the, this row is the puff. So for this puff, we're going to go all the way down there, right in there. So yarn over. Go in, pull up a loop, one, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through eight, yarn over, pull through two. And now we shell in the chain one space. So one, two, chain one. One, two double. So now we puff again all the way down here. Pull up a loop four times. We got one, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through eight, two left, yarn over, pull through two, and shell it. In the chain one our shell is two double one chain two double so two chain one and two double one two so can you can kind of see the kitty pattern right there i got a knot Do that one more time with you guys. So yarn over, go down to right, the uh, space right here. So one, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through eight, two left. Yarn over, pull through two. And then shell in our chain one. So one, two, chain one, one, two. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and work that across and I'll meet you guys back down here at the end. All righty guys, so I worked that pattern across and I've gotten to the end, but I'm actually I'm going to pull my loop up, and I'm going to stop for a second because I keep forgetting to show you guys to cut and tie. And Where's my scissors? Okay. 
So I'm going to take these two strands, pull them down to the same length, cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie these, like, you know, the beginning of tying your shoe. Loop over. Work another one. There. And um, don't worry about this color right here. See how the yellow is into the, into the, uh, how do you pronounce this color? It's, Aubergine? Aubergine? I don't know. Anyhow, <laughs> whenever we work our border, focus, whenever we work our border, we're going to cover all that. So you can go ahead and weave that in or you can wait till the end. It's up to you guys. Anyway, back to where we were. All right, so I got another puff to work. One, two, three, four, yarn over, pull through eight, two left, yarn over, pull through two, work the shell, one, two, chain one, one, two. Skip all that and then the double crochet in the last three. One, two, three. All right. <laughs> All righty. So now we're going to go on to row. Do, 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 do. Row seven, which is a repeat of row four. Alrighty. So we chain one, turn, work the double into the first three. One. Two, three. So this is a pretty easy one. All it is is just shells into the chain one spaces again. As a reminder, our shell is two double, chain one, or no, ugh. <laughs> There's my second double, chain one, two double. Skip all these stitches, go straight into our chain one space, and work our shell. Two double, chain one, two double. All right, so work that across, and I'll meet you guys at the end. All righty, so I've worked that. Just a shell into the chain one space all the way to the end. And you guys guess, one double crochet in the last three. One. Two. Three. All right, so that was row seven, which is a repeat of row four. So now we go on to row eight, which is the last row, uh, um, blah, 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 row of the repeat, which I mean, a lot of these are the same, but the only reason that makes the row different from others is the, is the color change. So row eight is basically the same thing we just did. The only thing that makes it different from the other rows is that we change color at the end of it. So we're going to go back to the aubergine color. <laughs> Eggplant, purple. <laughs> okay, so we chain one, turn. 
one double crochet in the first three. One, two, three, and then we just work the shell into the chain one space. One, two, chain one, one, two. Go ahead and work that across and I'll meet you again back at the end. Okay, so I worked that across, made it to the end, and now we work one double crochet into the last three doubles. So one, two, three. Actually, don't finish off that last one because we're going to change colors again. Pull through. All right, for the pattern repeat, we're just going to repeat rows six, seven, and eight, which don't forget six and seven is basically just a repeat of rows three and four. So I want you guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I want you guys to just to repeat rows six, seven, and eight, which is, I mean, six and seven is three and four. So if you guys need help, rewind, um, watch in there, get your rows, get the, and I'm going to work this for the length that I want. And then I'll come back and I'll tell you guys how much I, how many times I repeated, um, six slot six and seven and uh, eight. All right, I'll meet, be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back and I've worked the repeat a total of 38 times, or 38, <laughs> 13 times. And I have a total of 48 rows. And I went ahead and worked, repeated a uh, row three at the top right here. So I have an extra row of puffs. And now I'm going to show you guys just the 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 ending I'm going to put on here. Um, I know I said earlier I was going to do a border, but I kind of changed my mind because I like the way it looks without having a border on it. I mean, it's... It's nice. I love it. So anyway, I'm going to get my phone set up. Okay. So after you work your row three right there, chain one and turn, and I'm going to work an edge that matches the beginning. So like, so it's going to match this. Obviously that's upside down, but it's going to match that row. So chain one, turn, we're going to single crochet in the first three double. So one, one, two, three. We're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to single crochet in the top of our shell right there. Okay, now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to come over to our shell and we're just going to work a single crochet in there. Chain four, two, three, four. Go to our next shell. Single crochet in there. Chain four. single crochet in our next shell. I'm just going to go ahead and do this whole row with you. So chain four, single crochet in the top of our next shell, chain four, single, chain four, single, Chain four, 
single, chain four, single, chain four, single, chain four, single. Now at this end, we don't have to go real far. So we're only going to chain two and then work a, oops, I bumped the camera and work a single into our last three doubles. So if you take your puff and kind of pull it apart, you can see where your first double is. So we have one, two, and then you turn, you see your third one right there. So I chain two, one single, two, and then three. So now our top matches our bottom. So now, since we finished, if I could keep my loop on my hook, <laughs> chain one, pull up a loop, find my scissors. Okay, cut. Leave in your end and you're done. Now you can add a border to this. Like I said, I'd, I was going to, but then I kind of changed on mine because I like the way it looks. But you, you could just uh, do a double crochet border and put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in your corner. And then just evenly space out double crochets along the edge. And then in each corner, you know, work your two double crochet, chain two, two double Evenly space out some doubles along here. In your corner, work uh, two doubles, chain two. Evenly space out up this side. Two double, chain two, two double. And then evenly space out some doubles and then slip stitch to your beginning double. And that'd make a cute border. But I like the way it looks without having a border on it. I was excited whenever I got farther into this and you could see the kitties. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, uh, give me a thumbs up. Poke that subscribe button. Get your notifications turned on. YouTube did change it. So if you, when you click the notification bell, like it brings up a dialogue box that says, um, I don't remember all of the choices, but uh, get all notifications. I think then it says get personalized notification or something like that, but uh, click all notifications so you get a notification for all my tutorials. Thanks guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day. Bye.